Hello. Um, I'm not only a journalist. I am also a mother of four years old boy. Um, here is Carmel. His name is Carmel. He loves the drawing. Before Carmel, I've never been interested in any topic related to children. <laughs> but now I feel like even occupied with the idea of his future, how like his personality, how is it's going to be in the future. I don't want him to be a close-minded person or even extremist, like young people we are watching in news. Um, I think when Kermel is going to go to school and uh, he's going to get his books, the first thing that is going to attract his attention is the drawings in, in his books. And let me show you just an example of what kind of drawing we have in a first grade, um, just uh, the book of the Arabic language. And this picture is only one example. It's the same drawings all over the books. Here you can see the teacher. She is in Islamic dress. And this type of Islamic dress, it's like, it's common among, like, part of uh, women in Jordan who are very strict in implementing uh, or wearing Islamic dress. Usually, if you walk in, in the streets in Jordan, uh, you will see that there are women who are dressing just like me or just like you, some with veil, others without, veil with jeans. So it's... This is like, yeah, the most common type of women we have. But in, in our books, simply these drawings are not reflecting the diversity or the variety um, of women in Jordan. And I believe that they are leading even to one single interpretation of Islam, to even like uh, extremist way of uh, life style. Um, the same government that decided about these books, this is like in public schools, it's the same government that sent soldiers to fight and be killed by ISIS behind the borders. It's the same government that imprisoned journalists or even ordinary people because they express ideas. It thinks that it promotes um, um, maybe thoughts of uh, extremist groups. Um, the same way this education or curriculum uh, is like creating one-dimensional people, the same thing with our media. The type of media that we have, it's mainly opinionated media rather than factual media. Our columnists tend to impose their uh, opinion and views. They don't even put enough effort to um, to support their opinions with or to convince their audience with uh, using facts and objective analysis. Um, and that's why I decided simply to write a story about uh, the drawings that we have in in our curriculum. And the same thing that I also decided to uh, create a media watchdog, because I believe that media can really be har harmful to, to people. So I had my uh, media critique radio program. And at the same time, I wanted to involve the audience in um, monitoring and commenting on media. So we had an online platform uh, for the readers to get involved in this process. Um, the same way I think that media can be harmful, it, at the same time, it can be a powerful tool to bring change, to, um, to change the mindset and beliefs of people. That's why we need new media to do that. I decided to have or to write myself a series of uh, stories about the personal freedoms of women in Jordan. 
you can find some stories about uh, women's rights in the Jordanian media, but it's difficult or almost uh, nothing about the personal freedoms of women. And, and here I mean the taboos, sensitive issues, like for example, the sexuality of women, which affect many other aspects of our life. It wasn't easy actually to tackle such topic. Like for example, my female colleague who used to do Vox Pops in the street, it was like almost impossible for her to go to the street and just ask people uh, questions about this topic. Um, the same with even our male colleague who uh, might be accused, if he asks a woman in the street, might be accused of harassing her. So yeah, both of them went and did the Vox Pop and finally we had the story published. Um, but at the same time, we got some aggressive online comments. They were accusing us that we are threatening the Arab and Islamic values. But nothing happened to us. <laughs> we are okay. <laughs> Not only that, actually, other women journalists picked the story and they decided to follow up on similar topics. And even in one of our daily newspaper topics, very sensitive, like for example, surgeries done by some women to restore their virginity to be able to get married, for example. So imagine such topic in the Jordanian media. Now we can find similar uh, topics in media, maybe more common than eight years ago when I first wrote my story. Um, I believe that now with all the extremism and uh, chaos that we have in the region, I believe more than any time before that the, the priority is social change. And what I mean by social change is changing the mindset of people, the beliefs, social beliefs. And I believe that to do the best way to do it or the right way to do it is through education and media. Yeah.